So it's time to get a little craftsy. Hello, hello. I bought this vintage sewing pattern off of Amazon and we're gonna try it today. This is what it looks like. There's two options, but I'm doing this one right here. Hopefully it turns out well. I'm really excited because your girl loves vintage clothes, but I also get to pick the colors and the fabrics and basically customize it to whatever I want. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is take a fun little trip to the fabric store and get our supplies, so let's go. So we're on our way to the fabric store, but we're gonna stop at Starbucks first because we need matcha in order for this project to be successful. So I usually get a venti ice matcha latte, light ice, and two extra scoops of matcha, but today I'm gonna try this drink that I saw on TikTok. It's basically a matcha latte but you add brown sugar syrup it's like their new syrup and apparently it tastes like boba we are here so brb mission successful i'm kind of scared to taste it because i always get just regular matcha and I'm really like I always know what I like so I never I always get the same thing okay here we go it definitely tastes like boba but I wouldn't say that I like it well it's not horrible but it's not amazing it kind of tastes like this one time I had canned boba like it just tastes more artificial than actual boba I think but it's not bad so if you like brown sugar and you like really sweet boba, you should totally get this. We are continuing on our journey to the fabric store right now. So guys, this is actually like my first time vlogging and car vlogging, like driving while vlogging. And I'm kind of nervous because one, I might crash. And two, the roads here are really bumpy, so I don't even know if you can hear anything that I'm saying right now. And three, every time there's a red light, people like stare at me in my camera and I feel so weird. Alright guys, the drink is kind of addicting, I'm not gonna lie. Would I still get it over the regular matcha latte? I don't think so. Okay, I knew it. My ca I knew my camera was gonna fall. I'm just gonna keep driving and stop filming so I'll see you guys later guys look at that car guys I literally don't know how to act in front of the camera sometimes like I'm honestly kind of boring so I don't really know what you guys want me to talk about but we are here we are at the fabric store I brought the pattern with me because the back sh tells you I literally can't speak. I brought the pattern with me because the back like tells you everything that you need to get and how much of it, which is amazing. So it's gonna be like a little treasure hunt. Let's go. successful guys we got everything that we need we are good to go also guys can I just say that I really thought about bringing my camera in there I really tried to convince myself but I hit you with that iPhone footage because I got way too nervous I got nervous it's the middle of the day there were bunches of people in there and I got really stressed couldn't do it sorry guys Anyways, I'm literally so excited about this project and I bought the prettiest fabric and I'll do a haul when we get home But yeah, I'm gonna stop filming for now because the road is really bumpy and the camera's gonna fall so I'll See you guys later We are heading over to my desk to start the project I cleaned my desk just for this. It has not been this clean in so long Look at it. You guys should be so proud of me 
as promised here's a haul of what's in the bag on the back of the pattern it basically tells you what fabric and supplies you need so i just followed that so i got this amazing green silky fabric i thought that since it's like a bralette shorts lounge set it would be really nice if it kind of felt like silky when you wore it and then i also got this purple lace i think the colors go really well together and it looks like super vintagey and pretty i don't know and finally just like elastic hooks and eyes and some buttons first things first we have to open the pattern oh i'm kind of nervous this looks hard so this is actually my first time using a sewing pattern that i didn't make myself so I, I have no idea how this is supposed to go. So it's looking like first we need to cut out the pieces of our pattern so we can use them to cut out the fabric. <laughs> this is actually huge so I'm going to have to lay it on the floor. Looking at the back of the pattern, based off of my measurements I'm a size 10. So I think now I'm going to start cutting out the size 10 pattern pieces. So like just to show you guys what the pattern looks like, do you see how each piece has multiple lines for like different sizes? So I'm just going to follow the one that's labeled 10. Snip, snip, bitches. So these are the pieces for the shorts and those are for the top. So the pattern's all cut out. Now it's time to cut our fabric. You're gonna see that it's kind of wrinkly. Was I supposed to wash and iron it? Yes. Did I? No, because I'm kind of lazy. Saw her at the terminal With a sign close and personal To see your face light up She's a light Hi guys. Don't be fooled, it's actually the next day. Yesterday, the sewing time got cut short, but all the pattern pieces are cut out and we're gonna start sewing now. I'm not careful up by one that chasing out the sun runs from the city to Tallulah. Don't just steal the thunder. Don't just steal the thunder. Wake up at the right time, looking at my life. I have the whole front piece now, and now I'm going to sew the front and the back together. Baby, take it You got your whole I put faith in the sky. On and on, and now we gotta keep it up. sewn, trimmed, and now it's time to flip it inside out. So this is the moment of truth. I'm actually kind of nervous. I definitely have to iron it, but it literally looks so good. Now that we did, the hardest part, the last part, is to add the straps and the basque. The, the last part is to add the straps and the back clasp. Hi guys, it is day three of sewing this freaking bralette. Don't even get me started on the fact that I still have to do the matching shorts. So we're just gonna try to get this done today. So what I still have left is to add the lace, add the scrunchy part in the front of the bralette, add the straps, and then finish the clasp in the back, which is a lot to do. So for the scrunchy part, we're using the method where you sew with a really long stitch and then pull the thread so that it scrunches up. Okay, so now it looks like this, ah, which is so cute. It's time to add the clasps to the back elastic, which is just like hook and eyes, like a regular bra. I'm really glad I decided to get like the silver ones instead of the black ones because they'll blend in with the lighter fabric so much better. Oh, 
All right, one done, two to go. Progress has been made. I sewed the rest of the hooks and eyes off camera because it was really boring, but our bralette now closes and all that's left is the lace and the straps. Butterflies, I'm turning gold. Got me spinning around like buttercup. How could I feel so certain? Yeah, so ambivalent. When it's time we shoot, it's so innocent. Through the sky on the back of a bench. It's finally done. And now we can move on to the shorts. I'm gonna try and do them as fast as possible because I cannot do this anymore. Alright guys, you know the drill, got my fabric pieces, got my instructions, got my sewing machine, here we go. Why are the instructions making it so complicated? It should not be this hard. Alright, first step is to connect the front and back pieces together. Okay, so I sewed each of the legs and now we're going to connect them together so that they're actually shorts. And the instructions are very confusing. As always, when, when have I not been confused this entire time? Honestly, maybe it's just me at this point, but we're working on it. Harder of the two shorts, so give myself dirty there. She was living in summer, stars in her hair. Hello, my loves. It is day three, four? Day four of trying to finish this vintage sewing pattern. I'm literally losing track of time, but determined to finish it nonetheless. So here we go. Before we start, check out my plant that has three new leaves. Alright guys, so it looks like the last step is to finish these like side openings on the side of the shorts and then adding the button so that it looks like this. I don't know if it's focused, but do you see how there's like button closures on each side of the short? So I think with these last pieces of fabric, I'm basically gonna bind or like wrap these raw edges, I don't know the word. Um, with the fabric so that it's clean and not exposed anymore. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let's do it If it helps the pattern shows the piece I'm adding and I'm supposed to pin it to the raw edge like this All right guys, it is time for the last step which is adding these buttons to the shorts and I got the cutest most prettiest buttons ever and I'm so excited so as you know if you're gonna have a button you're gonna need a buttonhole and I have yet to figure out how to use the buttonhole feature on my sewing machine so I think I'm gonna just try to do it by hand we'll see how it turns out so first I'm gonna mark where I want my lovely buttonholes to go with my marker Then I'm going to take my scissors and snip open the buttonhole. And finally, I'm using needle and thread to start reinforcing the edges. Guys, this is taking forever and it looks so bad. I'm already embarrassed to show you guys, but I'm gonna try my best to fix it because I may have just ruined the whole fit with these buttonholes. So this is what it looks like. It's not horrible, but it's not great either. And now I'm just thinking about the fact that I have to do three more of these because my hand was literally cramping like halfway through. 
I really don't want to bore you guys, so I'm gonna go do this off camera and I'll be back. No one ever loved her. Guys, you don't understand. It's so pretty. I'm so obsessed with it. You guys are gonna love this shit, I promise. Ta-da! Round of applause. Guys, we did it. I feel so pretty, what the hell? And not to boost my own ego, but the purple lace, I feel like was a great call. The color combination is literally amazing. And guys, the pieces look good on their own, so that means I can make like more than one outfit with this set, which is so important. Just wait for it, I'm going to show you. Okay, so here's the top with a white skirt. It's kind of wrinkly, just ignore that, but it's so cute. Like, I love how versatile this set is. And then here are the shorts with a different top. Also very cute. So making the set was kind of a good investment because the set is really cute by itself, but the two pieces also look really good with other outfits. And it's really comfortable. The fabric is so silky and smooth. The set is just a win all around. Anyways, that's all I have for now. Thank you for hanging out with me and doing this project, and I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>